and today we are going to discuss uh, decision tree and apply it on MATLAB. Uh, uh, so uh, this was our split number on which it is going to split our data at the at this particular time. Uh, so uh, so this is based uh, on that we can create this simple tree which answers the question is a variable to be greater or uh, than this value or not. Uh, so basically if it is a greater than this value it is going to uh, we are go uh, we are going to move to another branch and uh, if it is lesser than the value then it uh, it is going to fall into the particular branch so this means a value greater than this value if our answer is yes then we are going uh, at this branch and uh, in the case of no then we are at the uh, at this branch um, now let us consider a split number 2 uh, so the split number two is going to split uh, only the data that is above split one which is basically a variable and uh, to great uh, variable to a greater than a, uh, this particular value so, so right uh, you are uh, you can add uh, one more question based on this plate and that is whether a variable one is greater than this value or not so please note. Uh, so please note that uh, we are adding it in uh, to disperse it. Since the split here is for uh, only the data that is above this value, so we are going to be uh, uh, to uh, to be yes and no again, and we will add this category information now as well because we can't exactly determine the classification table now based on split and uh, by that we mean that uh, two portions of the split uh, have all the data lines from the same category so similarly we can keep on adding the split split information to the decision tree and uh, grow on decision tree so not only uh, from uh, not only from you that point in encounter uh, encountered we will uh, pass a day that are uh, blend from this tree uh, and we will be able to exact de determine its uh, corresponding category. Uh, so for uh, for instance, if uh, I knew that a point has variable to greater than this value, then we will move on this branch, and uh, then we will look at uh, uh, its variable one value, go to the pro appropriate branch, and finally we have not uh, have even reach uh, the leaf uh, uh, two million nodes, and we will able to exact tell it's a representative class so good way to structure this decision to move all the rest to one side and all the nodes uh, to other sides and uh, the terminal nodes uh, are always going to give you the class information uh, th this way of course a very simple example and entire in journey uh, we can't uh, quite complex large and different uh, terminal nodes can at uh, very end uh, at very end uh, so sometime a uh, woman want to reduce complexity uh, complexity of uh, trees by uh, pruning the trees uh, to a certain level so let's uh, let's say instead of moving down to the very end of the tree we will stop somewhere in the middle tree somewhere over um, uh, okay right uh, somewhere over uh, here and uh, now we we may have a mixed type of data appliance that is uh, uh, that is a data point may long for more than one, one category so how uh, we classify a new da uh, new data new data up uh, with the prune tree and uh, we will be look at the all the data points falling into the two portions of the split we will assume a probabilistic approach then we will assume a class level has a highest probability in that particular split uh, in other words we are looking at a li uh, likelihood of two categories uh, in that particular split we will assign it to the category and more prob uh, prob probability in other words uh, the category that have maximum number of instance uh, in that particular split of course the decision tree are going to be a complex depending on the number of the variable and the number of decision class uh, and the distribution of that data uh, please note that uh, in this example our decision tree happened to be a binary uh, which means that uh, each node can have at uh, two at most two childs this is always that case especially when we have more values and more 
so to speak the decision tree is not that popular and up uh, uh, and are not that much powerful but are very simple and uh, when combined with other machine learning techniques and approaches then they will lead to a very powerful and uh, useful machine learning technique for classification uh, for classifying data and uh, for classification purposes so hopefully you would, uh, would enjoy this theoretical part so now we will move on our matlab coding uh, uh, and programming uh, part uh, so let's start how can we implement this uh, decision tree on our uh, given data set so there is a huge data set of uh, malware detection and uh, i will not uh, i will take two parameters and uh, uh, prio uh, this one and uh, the second one is uh, uh, like this one so let's start uh, to apply our uh, decision tree on matlab first of all i will uh, i just uh, include up my malware detection excel file into our matlab and then i will i will just contain the uh, 5000 rows of our data set because it's a data set is very lengthy and it keep and it take too much time uh, to be uh, run so after that uh, i will uh, apply our uh, and uh, decision tree, uh, build in method fit uh, C tree, and uh, use two main parameters class, cl uh, class, our class is classification, uh, and uh, the two major uh, parameters uh, that is, uh, I um, firstly, uh, I firstly told you about uh, Prio, and the second one. Uh, after that uh, i will convert into uh, on decimal line and uh, so this code of line uh, uh, will uh, predict uh, uh, our distance entry on in data set on the base of our two parameters uh, and classify our class and this uh, and then we will uh, show it on uh, g scatter and uh, uh, it will show on graph with colors 